Someone has asked me on uh, one of the comments to make a video about whether it's better to become an MD, a doctor, or an R RN, a registered nurse. Well, both people are involved in healthcare. And I noticed from one recent survey in Australia that healthcare is one of the areas of greatest interest for young people. That includes, you know, going to jobs, social workers, rehab, occupational therapy, physiotherapy, nursing, and of course, being a doctor. So, uh, how would you choose between becoming an RN, a nurse, or a doctor? Well, I guess we have to really state the obvious, you know, when it comes to the treatment of patient, I guess, you know, if you really want to not be politically uh, correct, but actually state the blatant truth, the doctor's really calling all the shots, you know, they make the diagnosis and outline uh, the treatment, <coughs> and then the nurses are there. Uh, really to administer the treatment that doctors outline, plus to look after or manage the day-to-day -day -day care of the patient. You know, the doctor comes in, gives all the orders, walks out, and the nurse is there basically with them all day long according to their shifts. Now, I know um, that nurses recently have started, uh, well, not recently, but more recently have started to go to university and want to see themselves in more management positions. Um, and, and, and that's fine, that's great. Now I'm a bit biased about this whole thing, obviously I'm a doctor, a surgeon, and actually my, uh, my mother was a nurse, a midwife, and she actually loved her job, you know, she was intensely interested, worked into her 60s, she used to even come and assist me in my work, can you believe it? So I've seen a little bit of both sides, but uh, when it comes to the end of the day and talking about it, you know, uh, the doctors tend to be the bosses, They've got very high status, especially if you go into a specialty, and they've got very high income. Now, the incomes can be anywhere up to five to ten times bigger than a nurse. And most doctors are pretty happy or satisfied about their, their jobs. You know, I, I've only met one or two doctors in the last 20 years who bitched and moaned about their jobs. Most, most seem to be pretty happy about it. Whereas with nurses, it's a bit of a great pity, actually, even though they've uh, got a lot more status, go to uh, universities, it still remains a lot of, uh, from what I hear, a lot of nursing dissatisfaction with their jobs. Uh, when they get in their th early 30s, they seem to get a bit fed up actually. Um, I've always thought that one of the ways to solve the whole thing of the nurses' dissatisfaction is to actually increase the incomes. Um, you know, it's funny, you know, society behaves in a strange way. Yes, they've got a lot of respect for doctors' high status, but a lot of sort of media journalists bitch and moan about us, a lot of it's sort of resentment. But nurses are held up as angels in the community and no one ever criticises them. But you know what? They never actually put their hands in their back pocket and really pay them high incomes either. So there's something to, uh, something to consider there. Now, I know that <clears throat> in a couple of countries I've heard about the Philippines and Brazil, that people are actually preferring to become a nurse rather than a doctor. I think it's actually in the Philippines, but they're trying to get visas into the US. It's, it's easier to get jobs as a nurse, RN, than this as a doctor, or certainly get an immigration or green card. So that's something you want to think about. So overall, in summary, I think doctor, high status, a lot of responsibility, very intense university uh, training, and uh, certainly high income. Uh, RN, very satisfying work, um, not so hard to get into a training program, plenty of jobs actually, much lower income and um, although very well regarded in the community, not the same status. So I hope that helps you.